Welcome to Enamored Movie Reviews. We are going to do things a little bit differently tonight. We are go actually going to start off with a non-spoiler section to serve as the review, and then we're going to hop right into our review. It's going to be two separate videos, so please, man, if you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I told you all we are going to have some exciting things planned for 2024. origin was the movie man um oh my gosh listen coming off of founder's day this was such a fresh air uh what's the what's the saying air relief y'all know the saying i'm trying to i'm oh, trying to say breath of fresh air thank you this was such a breath of fresh air coming off of founder's day i i really can't even find the words to describe how good this movie is it is a story centered around isabel wilkerson who is played by ingenue ellis taylor i promise you i have practiced that name 30 times and i'm still struggling with it ingenue ellis taylor is a very strong actress um i haven't seen her in much but she did play i knew i saw her face she did play in uh king richard uh the depiction of uh, the williams sisters uh uh um parents uh right brandy williams that's right that's right she played she plays that role and of course she did an awesome job she does so again here and her, the husband in this film was actually in king richard as well but i always remember him as a bad a bad guy john burt burthenthal burt burthal i always remember him as a bad character i don't know why and i cannot figure out where where it is i have been looking i promise you babe i have been looking and looking and looking and i have still yet to figure out where i know who he is mm -hmm. wh why he has such a disdain in my mind i'll have to look but i think i know what you're talking about it's like right so it's like he wants to play this sweet character in this film and it, I just can't buy it. He did a great job. I just can't buy it, though. Because in my mind, my mind is saying, you don't like him. <laughs> but I don't know why. Oh, man. So trying to sum up this story is actually going to be kind of tough. Because one would say that it was about racism. But it, she was actually trying to disprove that it was about racism. At least that's what I gather. She was trying to... to really tell the story about how this all came to be and how it tied in. It starts off with the killing of Trayvon Martin. And then we start seeing others, slowly start seeing other stories in German history that was that was very, very, very moving, mm -hmm. I should say, and stuff that we aren't privy to. This is not like your everyday type of history here. So it was uh, it was really refreshing to be able to see that. It was really good to be able to see that. She starts trying to weave a story because she is a writer who hasn't written in some time. She's a Pul Pulitzer Prize winning writer. Oh. But Pul Pulitzer? Pulitzer. Okay. Pul if you were going to say it the right way. <laughs> but she's I couldn't understand what you said. So that's oh. why I was like, a who? So she's been tasked with writing a story about Trayvon Martin from Blair Underwood's character. And she actually seems as if she's kind of hesitant to take it on. But some personal tragedies start to begin happening in her life and some conversations start to take take place. And I think that's where she, she kind of was like, you know what, let me go ahead and dive in and see. She started seeing some connections that no one else was seeing about the caste system in India and how all of that kind of kind of correlated to what we have here as well as the tragedies in germany with the holocaust which was a very very good conversation by the way between at a dinner table between her and a, a jewish lady who could not see the connections between slavery and the holocaust and i'm gonna be honest i before it was actually kind of said and done the whole movie started to unravel i was kind of in agreement with um the jewish lady on on that and i know that may be an unpopular opinion with everyone <laughs> who sees the movie but at first i was actually in agreement but anyway i'll probably be able to dive into that more in our discussion i do recommend like he said for you all to go see it it is definitely a profound movie 
um, that will open your eyes and have you reevaluate, especially um, here in America, how we see and view things. It'll give you a little insight um, and opinion on what the cast system um, is really about because going into it I was a little um, I want to say against it I was more so thinking no this you know what we deal with here in America is just blatant racism hands down mm -hmm. no questions asked um, however uh, Isabel Wilkerson gives you a new insight um, on what we're actually going through and what people around the world have been going through um, as well as African Americans here in, um, of course, America. Um, so we'll dive into a little bit more of that in our discussion. Be sure to comment, um, like, and subscribe so that you can uh, catch our full discussion on this movie.